Mistakes happen in any line of work. We live with them, we move on, and the world of movies is no different. The editing process is susceptible to errors just like any other. Unfortunately for the people behind those errors, the evidence is permanently etched into movie history once the movie in question is released. You are failing! That's not to say it's an unforgivably bad thing or something we should complain about relentlessly, it's just, well, it's, it's just the thing. If anything, it gives us something to look out for and talk about. So that's what we're going to do here. Enjoy the video and subscribe to our channel for more of the same. Here are 10 editing mistakes in popular superhero movies that went unnoticed. Superman will never- Superman Returns. 2006's Superman Returns really wasn't very good. It wasn't awful either, but hardly anything truly exciting happened. That being said, the one truly exciting scene was the one we're including here because of an editing mistake it contained. It's the scene in which Superman stops the airplane from crashing into the baseball field. After he's safely put the plane on the field, there's a wide shot in which Superman, the plane, and the baseball players can all be seen. All of which cast shadows onto the pitch, except Superman himself. Justice will come soon enough. Captain America Civil War At the end of 2016's Captain America Civil War, Helmut Zemo, Tony Stark, Steve Rogers, Bucky Barnes, and T'Challa end up at a Hydra base in Siberia. Most of the action takes place inside the base itself, but there is a scene outside, and it's when Zemo and T'Challa interact. Siberia's freezing, right? So it's pretty strange that nobody's breath is visible. Clearly, the scene wasn't filmed in a freezing location, but you would think that the breath would have been edited in for the purpose of authenticity. The Amazing Spider-Man 2012's The Amazing Spider-Man was actually teeming with editing mistakes, but none were more noticeable or frankly more hilarious than this one. In the scene on the subway when Peter Parker has just acquired his powers and is unable to control them, he inadvertently gets into a fight with a number of his fellow passengers. One of them, a black man, uses Parker's own skateboard as a weapon, but out of nowhere he changes into a white guy wearing totally different clothes. That's some pretty poor scene chopping right there. X-Men Apocalypse Here's one for the video game geeks out there. The 2016 installment in the X-Men movie franchise received some of the worst reviews since the series began back in 2000, and careless errors like this one won't have helped its cause one bit. When Evan Peters' Quicksilver is playing Miss Pac-Man at home, the titular character he's controlling dies. However, the sound effect is that of the original Pac-Man dying, and not Miss Pac-Man at all. <laughs> Doctor Strange In 2016's Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch's titular character is involved in a terrible car crash that wrecks his body, including his all-important fingers, which ruins his career as a surgeon, prompting him to go on a journey that leads him to becoming a sorcerer. When he's training with Carl Mordo, after he gets knocked down, you can briefly see Strange's fingers. In the shot in question, his fingers are in perfect condition and appear unharmed. However, at this point, he is still badly maimed, and you see this again afterwards. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. The Avengers. When the Marvel Cinematic Universe unveiled its first Avengers film, fans freaked out. So much so that the movie grossed over $1.5 billion worldwide. But even with the film being the first Marvel superhero film to generate $1 billion in ticket sales, it still had its fair share of mistakes. One can be found in the final act of the film. During the epic battle against the Chitauri invaders, Captain America is zapped with a blaster gun. Thor then helps Cap to his feet, and we see a significant amount of damage on his suit on the bottom right-hand side. However, when Iron Man flies the nuke into the portal and is blasted back to Earth, the damage to Cap's uniform is mysteriously gone. Your ship is filthy. Guardians of the Galaxy Guardians of the Galaxy was so good that it seems like a huge shame to pick fault with any of the 2014 space epic. This happened, however, so we're going to talk about it. On the Nova Core planet of Xandar, when Gamora is trying to get her hands on the Orb Infinity Stone, she jumps down from a walkway to the level below. She clearly lands with both feet close to each other, but when the camera quickly cuts further away, she's practically doing the splits. Superhero landing! Deadpool. 2016's Deadpool was so much fun that, frankly, it could have made some huge editing errors and we'd have been happy to let it get away with them. This one was only small, however, but it's notable enough to point out. In the scene in which Colossus is sent flying by a punch from Angel Dust, everyone in the background, apart from Deadpool that is, appears to be frozen in time, with one of them even frozen whilst in the middle of a stepping motion. 
Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice Oh Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, how you disappointed us. The 2016 offering just didn't live up to expectations, and there were also a number of editing errors in the movie. A couple of those occurred in the scene in which Wonder Woman is looking at the email sent to her by Bruce Wayne. First of all, the total size of the email's content is shown to be 24 megabytes, but when you see the sizes of the four individual files it contains, it should be closer to 800 megabytes. Moreover, when Diana slides her finger to the left on the touchpad, the cursor actually moves to the right. Wait, what's that crap on your face? Does it wash off? Suicide Squad In 2016 Suicide Squad, one of the titular team's surprise big guns was Diablo, who was played by Jay Hernandez. Diablo had a huge fiery form that he used to take on Incubus in the movie's final battle. But just prior to that happening, there was an editing error. Diablo had just been knocked away by the villain, and the scythe tattoo on his forehead appeared to switch from facing his right to his left, which means that the image was mirrored for some reason. No honor among thieves, eh? Oh. Thanks for watching our video about 10 editing mistakes in popular superhero movies that went unnoticed. Can you think of any other editing mistakes from superhero movies? Have your say in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one.